How's it going, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the World of Tanks News and Updates with Ronin47R. Today is April 17th, 2015, and it has been a couple days since the last time we spoke, and I sure missed you guys. We've got a lot to catch up on. If you take a quick look at the World of Tanks Xbox 360 Edition website, you will go ahead and see that there are three new things that have popped up. Let's get caught up with the Community Recap number 13. In the usual spirit of Community Recap, they're highlighting the game players and the fans that have done things in the World of Tanks. In this case, we're looking at some post-game results and some statistics. If you want to go ahead ahead and look deeper into this and perhaps even find your own name there, make sure you log on and read the details for yourself. Jumping over to the main page so I can show you the next item here, it's called Siberian Wolfpack. Now this says it's a new line of Soviet medium tanks and it's coming soon to the world of tanks. If you click on it, they will show you the list of the tanks that are coming out and a little teaser and explanation of what they're about. You'll notice that there is a tier 6 all the way up to a tier 10 line of new Russian medium tanks and you can see that there are two 10s to choose from. I'm very excited about this for two reasons. One, I love playing them. And number two, as you may or may not know, I am a super tester and I'm not allowed to discuss anything that's not public. Well, Wargaming has made this public, so now I can talk about it. This is going to be fun. Capital fun. So what I've done is I've taken a Russian crew, moved them down, unbeknownst to you guys, uh, several weeks past, and I've turned, uh, moved them to the T-34 where I have replayed that thing and got up all the experience so that when the A-43 located right here has been announced and it's going to come out soon, I am ready to rock and roll in a tier six like right now. So that's how excited I am about it. If I were you, I would go ahead and start rocking that T-34 as well or get ready to spend some uh, free XP so you can jump right into the A-43. Well, that's assuming that you like the Russian mediums. Okay, folks, let's go ahead and jump back here to the main page. And the last thing I'm going to share with you from the website is the player gathering for the Wargaming League viewing parties, and they're located in three different locations, San Francisco Bay Area, Chicago, and Toronto. If you're a person who has the means, the schedule, and the ability to go ahead and hop that flight on your private jet, make your reservation and make sure you show up. I wish I could do it, but I can't, so I, well, you know the rest of the saying. I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the Ronin47R.com website, and you can see I made a posting here. Why? Because we had a great time today. Uh, a few of us were platooning, and I did record that, and it will be going up in the next few days, all being, uh, you know, happy with my equipment. Now, who is it that showed up to play today? Well, we were graced by the presence of Lady Obscura WGA herself, so that was really fun to play with her. And then my buddy Dequinoa joined me, and the three of us cruised around blowing things up. Can you ask for anything more? Uh, for the rest of you that were trying to get on board the platoon, I'm sorry if you did not make it. Some of you guys were dropping connections or simply missing the launch times. Um, one of the lessons I've learned from this is, folks, I'm going to start pushing the following me on Twitter aspect because I'm going to make those announcements through Twitter. It's easier. Uh, not everybody reads the forums or they're scattered throughout what, what things they do read, but they do have the Twitter usually with them. Uh, via their phone or whatnot. So what I'm going to go ahead and do from now on is I'm going to really ask you to follow me on Twitter. I'm going to be making those platooning announcements as well as the other announcements, um, you know, for contests and what have you, but especially the platooning because it's real time and it's the easiest way for me to reach out and, uh, and touch you. So go ahead and make sure you follow me on Twitter. And the last thing I want to go ahead and share with you is this. You guys have been doing such a great job with the contest. We're less than 100 to go. It's going to be ending shortly, relatively soon. Uh, make sure you get your friends to jump on board. But here's the thing. You folks have also not only been joining, not only been posting very positive things, and I really do appreciate that you've been saying some positive things to one another in the discussion board area. You've been helping each other out when you have questions. I love it. But also too, um, the results uh, from the contest for the, or for the contest rather have been coming in uh, like a tidal wave and you guys are so awesome uh, so dedicated uh, that you know what I, I went ahead and spoke to Tanka Claus and now I have more gold to sprinkle your way so gosh darn it you guys have been doing so well I'm gonna have to make more winners out of this contest uh, more details on that later to come but <laughs> just be advised yeah, there's going to be more gold being thrown at you guys and more winners. So excellent work. I'm, I'm really proud of you guys. and I'm glad we're all part of the same community. All right, folks, uh, you've now been updated on the World of Tanks news and updates with Ronin47R. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Until then, I will catch you guys later.